first thing I want you to do is, is comment below. Let me know what do you guys think is the difference between a squeeze page and a landing page. What's the difference between a squeeze page and a landing page? All right, so squeeze page and landing page, there's really no difference other than one specific thing. Uh, squeeze page is mainly usually used in the marketing space to generate leads, so a name and an email and a headline, a very simple page, they go on it and the whole goal is to squeeze that specific person to enter the name and the email. The second thing is a landing page. Now a landing page could be any page on your website that is dedicated to having someone land on that page. It's literally a physical, the name is a representation of the action that you want that person to take when they land on your page. Now a landing page could be anything. It could be a webinar landing page, it could be a landing page on your website, a blog post landing page, it could be your home page is a landing page. I mean, any page on your website could be a landing page. The real question issue you're asking yourself is how do you generate a high converting landing page and a squeeze page? Now, I've made uh, that video. I'll have it linked here. Appear to link to that video specifically to how you craft that specific page to generate whether that's more traffic, whether that's more leads, or that's more sales through your landing pages, or if you want to generate leads through your squeeze pages. The most important thing is clarity on the copywriting clarity on the, the pop, you can use any platform right now, lead pages, uh, la, um, uh, Insta page, click funnels, all these software tools basically do the exact same thing, they're just tools. It's all about the copy, the design, the offer that you have, the position that you're putting everything, and then also the connection, the bridge after the opt-in. What do they see? What is the next step once they land on your squeeze page or your landing page and then they opt-in? What is the next part of the process? How are you gonna indoctrinate them to be able to convert them into a lifelong customer? That's really the question and I answer it in a full 20 plus minute video, walking you through step by step how to do that. So thanks again for watching this video. I want you to comment below what one insight did you get from this video. Like this video and third thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and I look forward to speaking with you in the next video.